What's going on ladies and gents in Cyberland? This is Chris coming to you with another video for RGMF. And today I'm going to be doing a review on another album by the Deftones. Um, this album originally I believe was supposed to be called Lovers, I believe it was. Um, it came out in 2003. Um, but it was pretty much called the, uh, the self-titled Deft Deftones album. So, um, with this one, we now have had the band coming off of the whole touring and, and success of um, White Pony. But things were starting to loom within the band as in regards to... I don't want to say they got lazy. Um, I don't think they've ever been lazy. But I think there was just some stuff that was probably starting to be... Um, um, starting to come out that was causing... Um, you know, a little bit of riffs in the band. I don't think they've really talked about it too much, but um, you can kind of see that they were kind of at a point where it's like, what direction are they going to go? They don't want to do White Pony 2, um, and they don't want to probably, more than likely, follow anything they've already done. But you could kind of see they were kind of at a standpoint of like how to keep going as a band. I mean, the album still had aggressive songs. Um, it still had a flow to it. However, there were some misses on this album. Um, particularly, I'd probably say Death Blow. And then, um, I forget even to say the, the, the second to last track. It's a long word or something. It's just, for me, those, um, those songs were not... They just, I think, kind of missed the mark. Um, they just felt like they were dragging... I guess you could say, and uh, you know, and this is again, this is my opinion because I love Deftones, but for this album, I feel like if they had taken those songs out and put something else in that was a little bit more abrasive, maybe the album I would probably give it a higher, I would view it a lot better than maybe um, the albums that came out after it and albums that came before it. Um, it's not an album I would put completely at the bottom of their catalog. I don't think so, not fully. Probably I'd rank it probably like, you know, maybe their sixth album. Like out of their top eight right now, I'd give it like probably I put a number six, I think. Yeah, probably six, six. Yeah, I think six. Um, and mind you, this is because they've come out the later work. Because at the time, when I heard it, I, there's a lot of stuff I liked about it. And there was a little things I was kind of like, yeah, well, it's all right. Um, and compared to White Pony and, and Around the Fur. And a, uh, no, I like it better than Adrenaline for sure. Um, so I think um, it, it's just not, I don't think they rushed into it, but I do think that it just wasn't what it probably could have became if they spent more time working on it. And I don't mean in the studio, maybe if they had took a break and done some things and then come back to it, maybe it could have been better. Um, because... The truth be told, um, Chino has said there's just certain songs on it he won't perform now because of how he feels about, I guess, reminiscing about um, maybe writing or how it makes him feel now. And, and what's funny is um, one of my top five songs on the album is, is Battle Axe. I really like the groove of it. I just liked everything about the song. And it's one of those songs that Chino won't perform anymore, I guess. Um, at least he said. He maybe, you know, people change their minds. But the last time I heard him talk, about that album he did mention that's not that's like or he was talking about his music and he did mention that one being one of the songs he doesn't really care to perform for obvious reasons because you know this was the beginning of where the band was really starting to starting to little bit chip by chip there was start the fractures were starting to come um things that really came to a head with the next album saturday night risk but i'll get into that at later so, um, with my tracks for this album, um, I would say uh, Hexagram is my number one. I just, I like the beginning, I just like um, the song in general. Um, and it also really, it, to me, it's kind of a little bit of a political song for them, because they're not, um, I don't recall Chino being too involved in talking about the, the current atmosphere of um, what was going on at that time, because this was... Um, during, I believe, the Bush administration and then the whole thing with I, Iraq and um, Afghanistan and, and suicide bombers and stuff. And that song is pretty much about suicide bombers. Um, 
And it was just interesting, because when I always listened to it, I never thought about it that way. And then one day, I decided to look at the lyrics and I'm like, wait a minute. So, Even Still is my favorite song, but you get more of an um, understanding of that song. Uh, next track is uh, When Girls Telephone, Telephone Boys, um, Battle Axe, uh, Bloody Cape, and Needles and Pens. I almost thought about putting Minerva in my top five, but... I don't know. I like the song, but I just kind of feel like it just didn't hit me as much as the other five. It's not one of the songs I don't like because I already named those two that I don't. Uh, if I have to, I'll listen to them. Like they're tra I, they're not necessarily because me any album I buy, I tend to like the the album from beginning to back or beginning to end. But sometimes there will be songs where I may not listen to as much as I would listen to another one. Um, and those those two in particular, they're kind of songs where if I'm driving and I'll be like, you know, I haven't listened to it in a while. Just listen to it. But sometimes I might just be like, click. You know, it, it gets to and I'm like, eh, on to the next one. Just because they just don't um, hit me as much as the other material on the album. Um, so, um, yeah, I, I think, too, that... Um, it was just, you know, I think there there was just a lot of stuff going on with, with the making of that album that wasn't necessarily a totally positive thing. And and then I think there was the drug use, I think. Um, I, I remember the band did talk about it at one point, or at least members that they were on drinking a lot and, and, and on some type of um, drug, whatever that is, if it's marijuana, you know coke what whatever you want to call it. it it was the fact that they were on something they were doing something um i think that affected a lot of the the whole cohesiveness of the album i think um but then what do i know you know they could have been on stuff when they were doing around the fur and white pony i mean white pony is technically a pseudo name for cocaine go figure you know they could have been on something on that too when those albums were great i just think maybe there was pressure Maybe there was just too many things um, leading up to that point that it, it just wasn't, it just didn't mesh as well as later work and, and work that came before it. So um, with that being said, um, for my rating, I will give it a uh, four out of five yes sirs. Um, I almost thought about giving it a four and a half, but then when I think about everything that came before it, and I think about an, another later album that I would give a four, four and a Four and a half out of five, as opposed to no, four, you know, four and a half or four point five out of five. I would give that album, and I like that album better than this album. So that tells me that yeah, this album should probably be a four, um, at least in re retrospect to everything that's come before it and everything that's come after this album. Um, you know, and again, it's not a bad album. Uh, would I suggest listening to it? I think if you're into Deftones and you have at least four or five albums in your 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 music um, base with them, I think it's if you don't have this album, I think you should check it out. However, um, it's going to be kind of like one of these things. There's going to be I like this. This is cool. Uh, no, it's going to be to me. It was a lot of this. I really like this, really, really like this, and no, like, and it wasn't like sim, a lot of the songs weren't, sim well, I kind of like, it was more like, I like, 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 hell no, I don't like this song, then like, like, okay, hell no, it was, it was those, I really don't like to have that when I listen to music where I have these songs like, hell no, hell no, I don't like this, because then it tells me that I don't like this album, and I'm an album person, I'm not a singles person, so I, when I get albums, I, I like, that's what I want to hear is a good... For me, I like an album. I'm an album type person. I just... I'm not into to, um, two or three songs type music, you know. When I... Especially for every artist I listen to, I like their album. I don't like um, one song by them. Because if that's the case, I'm not buying, the, buy, buying their, their album. So with that being said, um, you know, I guess... Uh, yeah, we'll cue the music. Cue the music. Cue the music. 